Oh, shit. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hey, gorgeous people. What's up? Hey, fucking hotties. I just showed Elliot's uh, Young Conquer. Yeah. I showed him a video of the Microsoft HoloLens game, Young Conquer. Yep. Uh, pretty cool. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. The technology is pretty sweet. The uh, game looks pretty fucking boring. Yeah, I mean, it's... I, I think it looks kind of cool, because it, it, it looks like a platformer in a... AR. In AR. And, I mean, I love platformers, so that, that alone makes it look cool, but... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's... I like how it has the weasel scientist from this game. That's kind of oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, um, th yeah, y you can imagine how people, hardcore Conquer fans, reacted when they saw that for the first time. They are like, what the fuck did they do to my hero? My childhood hero who curses. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people did play this game when they were kids. Yeah. I mean, I, w I was... I'm not that surprised. Um, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know much about, like, AR stuff. Elliot over here. Augmented reality? Oh, well, I don't know many much about the devices and VR and stuff. Elliot here has a Vive. Yep, that's VR, virtual reality. Yeah, yeah, AR. Do you know is... the difference between the two? AR is when. Reality. Yeah, AR is like when you you actually have a camera aimed at something in real life, and VR is when it's completely uh, CG, right? Yeah. Roughly. For, yeah, roughly. <laughs> yeah, AR is when you are still. Uh, presented your your environment that you're physically in mm. with added uh, things, right? So if you're in a grocery store and it highlight like you're looking through a, some glasses and they happen to highlight uh, the thing you're looking for, that's augmented reality. Mm, okay. Virtual reality would be you're in your home and you're in some grocery store. Yeah. In yeah. the virtual headset. Right, That's right. virtual reality because it's all when it's virtual. fake. Yeah, augmented is as it sounds, augmented. So okay. Take something that physically exists and adds to it. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I remember on the Nintendo 3DS, the AR stuff on that was kind of cool. I think I'm cool. gonna set up my Vive tonight. Really? I think I want to play my Vive with Jen. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That guy's sexy with his. You gotta play my Vive. Oh, yeah, I have played it. Yeah, no, nah, I said you got to, as in, sorry. Again. My bad English. No, like, <laughs> you were able to play my vibe. Oh, I got to. Yeah, you you were able to play my, I let you play my vibe at some point. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, you you yeah. showed me, like, the archery game and the yeah. the parkour game where you're, like, oh, grabbing stuff and climbing. There's a lot of other fun games. Yeah, we should play that again soon. Yeah, sure, dude. I've been looking into, like, so, uh, have I talked about this on, street, uh, not street, <laughs> on Royal Goops before? Uh, vibe? Have my vibe and setting it up? Um, maybe. Okay. Anyway, I'll keep it short in case I have. Holy shit, setting it up is a pain in my ass. In my <laughs> living room, I have a coffee table that's pretty heavy. In the middle of the room, I have a TV stand with my TV on it, which is a 50 inch plasma. It's not super light, it's not crazy heavy either. Uh, and then I've got um, the cameras on. Uh, extensions which go up to the ceiling so if I want to play my vibe I have to move the chairs out of the way I have to move the coffee table out of the way I have to take the TV unplug everything that's plugged into the TV move the TV over next to the coffee table then I have to set up the cameras then I have to plug them in then I have to run my headset from the other room to my from my desktop into this room then I have to remap the room and set it up and then we're good to go so it takes like 20 minutes or so just to set up so most of the time, I'm like, I'd love to play some VR right now. Fuck that. <laughs> I'd rather just play on my desktop. But Elliot, I thought you said you lived in a giant space mansion. Shouldn't you have way mo more room than that? Maybe I should, but just because I live in a giant space mansion doesn't mean that every room in the space mansion is a giant fucking space mansion room. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, this is a fucking small-ass living room. <laughs> Dude, I, lo I love the butts. Their butts are so cute. I wanna touch the butt. I know, dude. <laughs> Man, those boobies have a mind of their own. Do you see the way they're just automatically moving? 
That's some Dead or Alive shit before Dead they or Alive existed. They added their existed. own boob physics engine to like put some RNG in her boob motion. So it's just like <laughs> <laughs> that would be better with uh, motions. I don't know if you could animate that or not on screen. Probably not. Fuck that. They should. They should have made that a connect game. Just the. Or it's like you pretend to have boobies. Use your <laughs> your own hands with the power of the connect visor and just bloop 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 bloop, bloop bounce them around with your hands. Bounce them. Bounce, baby. Bounce, baby. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh my! Shit. Oh, so um, yeah. Well, we were talking about Young Conquer and uh. Oh yeah, yeah. That sounds like a pain in the butt having to set up all that stuff yes. for your vibe. Dude. Yes, it does, man. I ah, oh, the vibe is so much fun, and it's annoying because I wear glasses. Mm. Wearing glasses in the vibe kind of sucks. Oh um, yeah, I, I don't have that problem, so I don't know what that's yeah. like, dude. That's, that sounds annoying. I think I can buy some prescription lenses to put in the vibe, so I wouldn't have to wear glasses. Mm. And I think I might do that. Um, we'll see. But it's expensive. Nom, 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 nom. But, 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 but. Jiggly. That looks like it would hurt so bad. Oh my god, yeah. Ugh. Um. Uh. Oh yeah, so we were talking about Young Conquer, and uh, there, there's actually another Conquer related thing that Elliot's never seen. So, Elliot, have, have you heard of a thing called Project Spark? Nope. It was this game that was made a few years ago. It's a game that allows you to make your own games. It wasn't a gigantic success, and it's a game that, like, kind of lets you code things. Put a picture on screen, James. It's it's very oh, complicated. Oh, now I understand. I saw it on screen. Ah, yeah, I knew that would work. <laughs> um, yeah, you just winked. <laughs> oh, fuck! Elliot! You distracted me from your- Fuck! James, you just made an idiot play. Um, but yeah, so it's a game where you can make your <laughs> that own- That was on you, bro. I like to blame other people for my mistakes. Okay. So, um, so Project Spark, like, what the people at Project Spark, what they did was they also made their own, ah, whoops, too slow. They, they made their own levels Some for- douchebag outside trying to be a douche- Hey, douchebag! People are recorded in here! Like, in case, like, you didn't- Oh, shit! Wow. Wow. Damn. James is Come on, good at this video game. So, like, they made, uh, mm -hmm. what they did was, uh, mm -hmm. they made some levels for the people who didn't want to make their own levels, okay. uh, could play. And they actually partnered with Rare, and they made a Conquer level. Okay. Yeah, they announced it, and a lot of people were upset, because it's like, Conquer comes up on screen at the end of the trailer, and they're like, oh, Conquer! He, like, chainsaws the logo, and he says, well, look at this. Almost ten years without a new game. Looks like we'll have to make our own. And people were like, fuck you. Just you make a new co- Fuck you! But, um, anyways, so they released it in, like, 2015. What the fuck are up with their boobs? What about them? <laughs> they're, oh, they're, like, they're just moving. They're, like, inwards on each other. Yeah, you can do that in real life, I think. Yeah, your boobs can clip through each other. <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh, look at that fog sensory. Um... But yeah, so, like, they made their own little Conquer game. They were going to do, like, three episodes, but <sighs> after they made the first one, they realized Project Spark was not financially viable. Oh, it wasn't okay. successful that successful enough, so they had to cancel the next two Conquer episodes. Dang. And I was really fucking disappointed, because it was actually kind of good. Mm. It wasn't great. It wasn't yeah. as good as this. Like... The humor, they actually got Chris Seaver to come back and help with the writing. Okay. And they even got him to voice Conquer. And... Uh, like, it wasn't as funny. Like, yeah. there, it, there, it was mostly just like, hey, this other video game exists. Hey, this is like Metal Gear Solid. Oh. Like, there's one bit where, like, it was clearly a Donkey Kong reference with all the barrels coming down this thing. Mm -hmm. And Conker says, in, instead of, like, being really subtle about it, which would be funny, he said, whoa, is there a giant gorilla up there? Can somebody call a plumber? It's like, wow. That's, that's just... Good job, Project Spark. That's that's good fourth wall breaking right there. Got him. Good job. Got him. If I were there, I would have slapped them silly and said, No, that is not how you make a fourth wall or whatever the fuck it is joke. You got gotta him. be more subtle. Got him. Watch the fucking Muppets. You'll know got what him. I'm talking about. Got huh? him. How long is this episode? Nine minutes. Oh, okay, we can I'm watching, dog. Awesome. All right, so we can finish this cutscene right here. Yeah. But yeah, aside from that, aside from that, it was actually surprisingly good. There were some good jokes, and, uh, like, you get to piss on some teddies. <laughs> okay. And, uh, 
Yeah, I should show you like the trailer for it sometime. It's it yeah, was, it was surprisingly good, but unfortunately, cool. unfortunately, yeah. When there was a a little small beacon of hope for Conquer to make a comeback, yeah, nope. Okay, so I was a sad panda. Cool, mm -hmm. savage. Yeah. Okay. That's not really cool. It's more sad. Cool. <laughs> you know, the more you say cool, Sweet. the more you make me feel depressed. Cool. Cool. Sad. Cool. Sad. Cool. 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 Sad. 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 Cool. Cool. Is that all? What a fuck. Yes, that's it. Okay. We can move on now. Uh, right. So I was curious. Uh, have you seen what? Uh, I can tell you love the cutscenes in this game. I love them. Having to provide commentary during COVID. Sorry, continue. Uh, right, so with the AR shit, have you seen Google's AR stuff that they're coming out with? No, dude. It's fucking sick. Google Lens. They, like, demoed it last March, I think. Uh, the idea is that, like, different establishments could opt in and provide data to the Google Lens system. So, for example, if you went to Joe Schmo's hardware store and you wanted to find a you know, one inch screw at three eighths inch diameter, uh -huh. and you don't know where that is in the store because it's fucking huge. You turn on Google Lens; they support Google Lens. Then through the their camera app, right? Oh. It would show on the ground. It would light up the ground where you walk through their store, and it would highlight the bin where you find those screws. So it would be like in Halo with the blue arrows on the ground. So you must go this yeah, way. Yeah, basically. Dude, that's sick. Yeah. And then like when fucking you sweet. So then what happens when you get there? Does it actually like? I don't know. It would like whatever they want. I, it's that was like a prototype. I, I don't think it's even out. Even the oh, prototype. Oh, okay. Out. This is just their vision for it. Okay. So maybe when you got there, it would say you've arrived, and it would, like flashlights around the bin. <laughs> ding, I, ding, 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 You know, ding, so you can find it. That would make grocery shopping so easy. Like, let's say you go to Joe Schmo's for groceries. Mm -hmm. You have a list. You import your list into the Google Lens. It calculates the most efficient way to go through the grocery store. It shows you, okay, here's the apples. Pick up the apples. Here's the macaroni. Here's the dildos. Put it in your ass. Okay, bye. Swan dive. Next time on Royal Goobs. <laughs> Or this time. 